Hey guys, welcome back. I am so great. Been going on around the world this weekend. Um, that's just kind of amplifying the energy. So energy update is you got lots of emotions coming up. You got to purge them out. Um, really take notice of what's coming up. Write them down if you need to. Especially the moon that's coming in. Take notice of how you feel. Ground yourself. Stay grounded. Drink lots of water. But literally, like, look at the emotions that are coming up. What's it going to? What's it teaching you? Um, use that as a as a teaching tool for yourself. Allow yourself to experience those emotions, but also experience them moving out of your awareness as well. We don't want to hold on to those things. We've got to let them go. It's it's time. Um, the other thing that's come in today, it's, it was a channeled message this morning, is around um, this um, the convoy that's kind of coming through. So with the convoy that's gone through, you have to remember you've got thousands and thousands of people gathering in one spot, and now it's rippling across the whole world. So you have to remember that's going to heighten all the energy as well um, with all the energy updates that we're already getting. So you might feel some of that. You might feel elated or joyful that this is all going on. And that's great because we need, you know, to rise and stand together as one, you know, unite forces and stand in peace and love. And I know, you know, not everyone shares my opinion. That's OK. But I just want to bring forward what the channeled message was today because it actually resonates with me a lot. Um, so the message that came through today from my guides was is that nowhere in this have we not been free. Um, you know, we are, well, not we, but people are going to certain places to protest and, you know, to demand their freedom back of what we used to have. But if you actually take a look at what we used to have, did it actually work, right? So maybe it did to you and maybe it didn't to some. And that's okay. Everyone's got their own opinion. Everyone's got their own thing. But the thing is, is if we're waiting for the government to change something for us, then we're going about this all wrong. The government's not going to change their mind. They're going to make it seem like they don't know anything that's going on. And OK, we'll give you one slice of your freedom back because that's what you're asking for. You're asking the government to change something. Yet mm, hundreds of thousands of people just met on the weekend. Nobody wore a mask. And how many other people are going to keep that going? right? So we have to keep that momentum. We are the 99%. And if we want the change, we just have to change. You don't want to wear a mask at the store. Don't. That's that's the whole point of this, right? The government's not going to change something for us. We have to be the change. You don't want to wear the masks in the school. Tell your kids to take them off, right? Because they're not going to make a whole school go home because they're not wearing a mask, so we want the change. We have to create the change, not ex wait for someone to change it for us, not someone to create the law that's going to change it for us. It already doesn't exist. So if it doesn't exist, we're waiting for who to change the rules. We are the changers of the rules. We just have to stand up and unite as one instead of one business opening and being in trouble for you know going against the whole everybody should open. The government can't stop everybody, right? That's the thing. We are the 99% and we're waiting for the 1% to change something for us. Why? It makes no sense. We have to be the change, right? We choose to take our kids out of school and homeschool them. We choose not to subject them to the mask. If we don't want that, send your kids to school tomorrow with no mask and see how big of a change it's going to make. Because mandates aren't laws. We don't have to give over our medical information to get into a store. It's illegal. The government created those laws in the first place, right? Income tax is illegal. All these other things that are illegal, we have to be the change. You don't like something, be the change. You don't like in income tax, don't pay it. What's the worst that could happen? Nothing. Because we are the change. <laughs> we have to stand up and rise together. Hey, Wendy. We have to stand and rise together as one. Not we are divided by a mask and no mask, freedom and no freedom. We are sovereign. And with that comes great change. So I'm so grateful for everyone who went to Ottawa and everyone around the world who's standing up. I'm so grateful. While you're out there today, go chant the word OM. OM means greater pathways and higher consciousness to God. So if that's the change you want to see, start chanting that instead of freedom because you already are free. And nowhere in this process have you never not been free. It's all in your perception of how you see it.
whether you choose to wear a mask or you choose not to, you got vaccinated or choose not to, everything comes down to a choice. Nobody forced you to do it. Nobody forced you to stay with a company that doesn't respect your goals and values. Nobody expected you to do those things. You chose to go along with that. And that's your decision. And I support you on your decision. And I love you for your decision. But when it comes to standing up as one, we have to stand and unite. So if this whole weekend in Ottawa and everywhere else around the world was about, you know, getting our freedom back, go open up your stores, take the stickers off the doors and the floors and the walls and take down the papers that say, you know, you can't, you have to stand behind this plexiglass when I got to pay without looking at the plexiglass. It just, a lot of stuff doesn't make sense. You've got to look past the things that don't, don't make sense and go back to what makes sense to you right? And if that makes sense to you, go for it. I'm happy for you. I, I sit in joy for you. But we truly need to rise as one. So I send that out to you guys today. If you were in Ottawa, what do you? what's your next step? Because nowhere are you not free now that you're home, right? I give it over to you guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Food for thought. Much love. I see you guys later. Bye.